In this video, we will demonstrate how to process a fresh or recently thawed frozen LUCA pack for downstream cell isolation. A LUCA pack is an enriched leukapheresis product consisting of a large number of leukocytes, including peripheral blood mononuclear cells, or PBMCs, from a single donor. For best results, LUCA packs should be processed immediately upon receipt. However, frozen LUCA packs can be stored at minus 135 degrees Celsius or colder and processed at a later date if desired. When starting with a frozen LUCA pack, follow the recommended thawing protocol. If using a 37 degree water bath to thaw, submerge the LUCA pack but keep the ports above water and do not agitate. Remove the LUCA pack when only a small amount of ice remains. Once thawed, it is important to work quickly to ensure high cell viability and recovery. In a biosafety cabinet, aseptically transfer the contents to a sterile container that is at least two times the volume of the fresh LUCA pack contents. For frozen LUCA packs, the container will need to be at least five times the volume. To begin, open the port on the LUCA pack bag, insert the transfer set spike, and place it in the extractor stand. If preferred, the LUCA pack can be placed in the extractor stand first before opening the port. Next, open the transfer set valve to dispense the LUCA pack contents through the tubing and into the sterile container. Slowly close the plate of the extractor stand, ensuring pressure is applied evenly to the bag. Once most of the sample has been transferred, remove the bag from the extractor stand and roll the bag to help transfer any remaining sample. If an extractor stand is not available, apply pressure to the bag or drain by gravity before rolling the bag. If desired, the LUCA pack bag can be rinsed to help recover any remaining cells. To do this, wipe the bag with 70% ethanol or isopropyl alcohol and cut it with sterile scissors. Then, for fresh LUCA packs, rinse the bag with an appropriate volume of PBS containing 2% FBS. Add the solution to the sterile container. If no transfer set spike or extractor stand is available, cut the LUCA pack bag with sterile scissors and transfer the contents using a serological pipette. Note the total LUCA pack volume recovered and remove a small aliquot for cell counting and viability assessment. To determine the final cell yield, the number of cells at this stage can be compared to the number of cells after the wash steps. For thawed frozen LUCA packs, after the sample contents have been transferred to the sterile container, immediately add an equal volume of freshly prepared and warmed thawing medium drop-wise while gently swirling the collected cell suspension. It is recommended to use HBSS modified medium without calcium and magnesium containing 10% FBS and 0.1mg per milliliter final concentration of DNA's one solution. Adding thawing medium will help to minimize the effects of the cryopreservant in the LUCA pack on the cells. Then, rinse the LUCA pack cryo bag with one half volume of additional thawing medium relative to the original LUCA pack volume, mix thoroughly, and transfer to the cell suspension. Then slowly add an additional two volumes, relative to the original LUCA pack volume, of thawing medium to the cell suspension and mix thoroughly. Remove an aliquot of cell suspension for counting and viability assessment.
The following wash and go protocol can be used if performing downstream cell isolation using EasySet and red blood cell lysis, and additional platelet removal steps are not required. For both fresh and frozen leukopack samples, consult the EasySet selection kit's product information sheet to determine if it can be used with this protocol. Aliquot the leukopack contents into 50 milliliter conical tubes for centrifugation. For fresh leukopack samples only, add an equivalent volume of PBS containing 2% FBS and mix thoroughly. Note that no additional thawing medium needs to be added at this stage if working with a frozen leukopack sample. Rinse the sides of the container during this process to help recover any remaining cells. Centrifuge the cells at 300 times G for 10 minutes at room temperature with the brake on. Carefully remove the supernatant without disturbing the cell pellet. Then, resuspend the cells. Use a small amount of the recommended medium if needed, such as EasySet buffer, RoboSet buffer, or PBS containing 2% FBS and 1 millimolar EDTA. The medium added should be free of calcium and magnesium. If desired, pool the cells by resuspending them in a small volume of the recommended medium and transferring them into a single 50 milliliter tube. Rinse the tubes with the recommended medium to help recover as many cells as possible. Perform a cell count using 3% acetic acid with methylene blue. The cells are now ready for cell separation using EasySep. Note that due to leukopack donor-to-donor -donor variability, additional red blood cell lysis and platelet removal steps may still be required after completing the wash and go protocol. If this is the case, proceed directly with the lice and go protocol. The lice and go protocol should be followed if the EasySep selection kit requires red blood cell lysis and platelet removal on a fresh or frozen leukopack sample. Or, it may be performed after the wash and go protocol if there are concerns about the level of residual red blood cells. With the contents of the leukopack transferred to a sterile container, add ammonium chloride solution to the sample at a volume to volume ratio of 4 to 1. Mix by gently inverting the sample and incubate on ice for 15 minutes.
Aliquot the sample out into 50 milliliter conical tubes. Once the sample has been transferred, rinse the container to capture as many remaining cells as possible and add it to the sample. Centrifuge at 500 times G for 10 minutes at room temperature with the brake on. Then, carefully remove the supernatant and resuspend the cells by gently flicking the tube. Perform a wash step to remove platelets by topping up each tube with PBS containing 2% FBS. Centrifuge at 150 times G for 10 minutes at room temperature with the break off. Remove the supernatant and gently flick the tube to resuspend the cells. Then, resuspend the cells in a small volume of recommended medium. To maximize the number of cells collected, rinse the walls of each tube before transferring the cell solution to the next tube. Rinse the tubes with a small amount of recommended medium to help recover any remaining cells and add it to the sample. If additional platelet removal is required, perform one to two additional washing steps as described. Next, perform a cell count using either tripan blue or 3% acetic acid with methylene blue. The cells are now ready for cell separation using EasySep or other downstream applications. For more information on Leukopak sample processing, cell counting, or cell separation using EasySep, please visit stemcell.com.